When will I get rid of my insecurity? This is my first post mail 24, not very friendly with posting here. I was in a very serious relationship during my college for 4 years. Everybody said that I was the perfect boyfriend and I gave her all the happiness I could. Eventually she cheated on me twice and broke up. It took me about a year to get over it and to get back to normal. But, the breakup made me very insecure and self-detrimental. I am falling again for someone now and I am really getting those lost butterflies again. She has a history with me, she was my first girlfriend when I was in school but we broke up because we weren't mature enough then. Anyways, the problem here is that I'm getting insecure about her going out with other guys and her talking to guys mostly and giving them attention more than she gives it to me. P.S. I was never the jealous type, but somehow after the breakup I've gotten into this super insecure guy. What should I do? Update, should I end it or should I wait for her and trust her need advice? I've been crazy for this girl for quite a long time now. We have a history together. We were dating when we were in school it's been 8 years now but we broke up after a year. Eventually we drifted apart with time. She was my first girlfriend so I always had a soft corner for her and we spoke to each other seldom. But about a year ago I texted her and she was going through depression and was on antidepressants. Though, she was dating a guy then the guy gaslighted her, made her feel worthless and was probably a narcissistic. Eventually, she broke up with him about 6 months ago though she is not fully moved on. Anyways, we would talk all day whenever we get the time to, sleep over call, go out with each other and we enjoy each other's company. I guess I'm on love with her and I've confessed her my feelings, she told me that she loves me too but she's not ready for a relationship, not yet. Now the problem here is that, 3 months ago she stated going out on bumble dates and that pissed me off. I confronted her about this and we fought a couple of times, she called me controlling and compared me with her exes, but eventually she uninstalled it. She has been going out with two guys from Bumble, on asking about it she said that she has made everything clear to them and they are just friends. Last night while I was over a call with her she was flirting with an other guy over text, when I asked her about it, she told that's it's just her college professor and she's just joking about it. I don't understand should I give her some time and trust her on what she's saying? Should I ignore everything? Or I'm just an insecure guy who's controlling her? What should I do? Update, my girlfriend 24 said she has feelings for her professor 31. I feel like s hit, unworthy and broken. She's not exactly my girlfriend. But we're very very close, I mean I haven't proposed her and nothing is official cause I think it has not been long since she has had a breakup and she has not completely moved on from her ex. Things between us is more than a boyfriend girlfriend bond. We are not dating on paper but it's more like we're dating in reality I guess you guys will understand. She started taking to her professor over text and it started as a joke as it was one of her guilty pleasures, she has been talking to him for a month now and they both are low key flirting. She just confessed to me today that she has feelings for him, but also said that she doesn't want to have anything with him. We have fought over this multiple times in the past month, she agrees to stop but ends up breaking my promise and talking to him again. I don't know what to do. I feel broken and unworthy. Please help. Update, how to get over this pain, been in years since my ex cheated on me. I loved her more than anything, but she cheated on me in the end. I gave my all in the relationship yet she broke my heart. The breakup devastated me and it was probably the worst time of my life. I was getting anxiety attacks and I could not sleep for weeks. Anyways, those things are far from over now, I only get nightmares now not very often though. I can't move forward and I can't trust anyone now. However hard I try, I'm unable to trust people now. I'm also not interested in relationships or even hookups and I turned down anyone who tried to approach me. I think I will never get over it and I don't have any more of love to share with anyone. Update, the cheater is always happy but the loyal ones suffer. Why after the breakup the cheater is happy while the person who has been cheated on suffers? It's been a year since she cheated on me. I haven't recovered. I'm low on self-worth and I can't stop being sad over it. I dated her for 4 years and I was so in love with her. She told I was the perfect boyfriend, even the people around her her friends and mom used to say I was the ideal boyfriend. I gave her all the happiness, all the strength and support be it personal life, family life or career wise. 
Yet she cheated on me. She's still dating and happy while I being the loyal and loving one is suffering. How is this justified? I taught her how to love and that's the only thing I guess I'm happy about. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, life is unfair. The cheater cheats and doesn't regret. The faithful feel the sting. And in some cases the betrayal is so profound that we get PTSD from it. Therapy and self-discovery is where you need to focus your attentions. And go no contact with the one who cheated. Cut her off and avoid looking at her social media. Find new hobbies and explore new places. Meet new people and make new friends. It can take up to 5 years to move on. It took me 3 and I still have triggering moments. Redditor follow up, agree with everything said here. For improving your self-worth, you need to remind yourself that no matter what you have done in Ops case, seems nothing was wrong, you don't deserve to be cheated on. It's a reflection of a flaw in the cheater's character, not yours. Redditor 2, I got to read my ex's correspondence with the many people he was pursuing while we were still married. He told one of them that the first time he ever felt loved was when he met me. And that after 20 years together he wasn't sure he ever loved me or was really capable of love. He is no longer alive. My only consolation is that I gave him 20 years of loving normalcy, where he grew from an unemployed college dropout into a successful career, family ties, and loyal friends. He loved me. I wasn't ever plan A, but he loved me. I was his wife. I was there. I kept true to my values and kept my strength. I supported him but was never going to enable. I was focused on recovering my identity as an individual and maintaining financial independence while growing ever more loyal to our relationship. He resented and disrespected me in response. He was extremely cruel in the end. And eventually he realized he loved me. It hurt him a lot. But then he withdrew into his solitary shame-filled shell. He didn't fight for himself or for us. Then my dad called to say he loved me. He lives at my sister's who is his plan A and my dad's love is too late and has no will behind it. But I know it's me who walks with a clean conscience. Clarity. Ability to love and to walk away. To make choices. My strength comes from respect and gratitude to the people who filled my life with so much love I had enough for two. Op answer, people like you deserve all the love and respect. Reading this filled me with strength and goodwill. More power to you. I hope you get all the happiness that you were kept away from. The world needs more people like you. Heart, Redditor 3, it's called Trauma Bond. You haven't moved on and you're still in the relationship. You made the mistake of loving someone more than you loved yourself, and made them responsible for your happiness. That pain you're experiencing is your resistance to let it go. You need to work on your self-esteem and learn how to fall in love with yourself. This is the universe forcing you to find your self-worth. Op answer, thank you for your message. Yes, I've been taking care of myself and treating myself right. You're right, I loved her a lot and in the process of loving her I gave my share of self-love to her. I let her insult me and sabotage me. I'm better now and I'm healing. Redditor 4, it's the same thing that allows them to cheat. Which is why you need to see you didn't lose anything. Many of them can't even feel love, not real love. It's really just about how other people make them feel. Here is the thing, and even I know I sound sappy and over the top when I write this but it's still true. I write it because learning this changed my outlook and really helped me. The purpose of life isn't to be happy or even to find happiness. You should not strive for that, if you do you will fail. I don't even think happiness is the default human condition. The purpose of life is to do good and make the world better, I am not talking about going out and trying to save the world, I am talking about being a good person, a good friend, stuff like that. To be honorable. If you do that, take pride in that, you will feel content, and happiness will follow. Though you will be down at times because that is normal. As hard as it is, and I know it is, you can't wake up every morning and think, I am not happy something is wrong, and then feel bad the rest of the day. You have to wake up and say, how and I continue to be a good person for the people around me? How can I make things better? I promise you if you get this, you may still be sad at times, but you will also be content. Contentment is about the most we can hope for in this life, and really it's enough. 
Op answer, the thing that I need the most right now is self-love. I'm slowly starting to realize my worth and I've started to put myself first. When I was in love, I gave in my all to my partner, even my share of self-love. In return, she hurted me and cheated on me. The breakup certainly shattered me, but one year down the line now, I can say that I've grown so much and I know my value and what I deserve.